Eh, huele a Roberto Cedo, a Alejandro César Valdez Carrera. Uh, I'm uh, working in Environmental Geography Research Center, that is a center of UNAM, is a, a National Autonomous University of Mexico. And as a part of my PhD, I made, uh, I published those, those articles. Um, so I'm going to share uh, my results, my methodologies, etc. cetera, uh, with you. Thank you for to be here. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, as a uh, uh, framework, um, as we know, uh, um, in recent decades, uh, uh, the, the effects of, of that kind of processes, natural uh, processes, uh, natural hazards has, has increased, um, in specific the number of disasters or an economic, uh, economic losses. Uh, if we see America, uh, we can see the, uh, that um, those effects has increased and are the, the, the highest um, number of uh, disasters. Has, you know, they have the, the highest number of disasters. Um, in a specific, uh, last slide, mass movement uh, in, are related with fluids and storms. Um, so for this is important, the study of these of this, uh, processes and, and these um, uh, natural hazards. So I'm going to start with, with the first article, with my first article. Um, this is a review of recent studies of land like hazard in Latin America. And I want to share with you uh, this, this photo. This, uh, that photo was taken in, in my study area. It's a um, complex landslide that um, I have been working with uh, during the last four years. Uh, this, this article was published in, in Physical Geography Journal. It's, it's available, available for you. And um, was published in September 2021. Um, as an introduction, um, the disasters has increased uh, um, during the last three decades. So um, we can see that the effects in, in economic losses. And in specific, the, the effect of these processes is, uh, has been concentrated or has concentrated in, in mainly in Asia, America, and Europe and Africa, and mostly due to extreme cl climatic events. And hazard is expressed as a probability of occurrence between a reference period and its function of spatial probability and temporal probability. Temporal probability refers to triggering factors and spatial probability, static environmental or conditioning factors. Mm, the natural, natural hazard uh, are associated with geological, geomorphic, and hydrometeorological processes and their combinations. And uh, that kinds of processes, land, landslide processes, are, are common in uh, mountain zones. And then uh, to understand what a uh, landslide is, a uh, landslide is, uh, is defined as a long slope of movement, movement of mass of rock, debris of, or earth under the influence of gravity. And those processes could be uh, suddenly or slowly, but suddenly landslides uh, um, commonly have uh, disastrous effects. Um, and these processes are triggered uh, mainly by precipitation, uh, but also by earthquakes and uh, rapid snow melting, volcanic activity, fluids, and variety of uh, human activities. Um, that information has been referred or um, stated by, by some others in review publications, in recent, recent review publications. Uh, and 
that reviews um, focus its research on uh, susceptibility. Susceptibility has a risk uh, uh, to two landslides. Um, then those, those reviews uh, focus mainly on Europe and North America and indicate the, the, the need to for studies on landslide hazard in Latin America, Africa, Southern Asia, and Oceania, uh, especially in the intertropical regions. Um, this is crucial because the intertropical zones are the most densely navigated areas and uh, could could happen uh, disaster uh, disasters. Um, well, there is a lack of systematic analysis of the different approaches of landslide hazard studies in Latin America, and for this reason, we 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 made this 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 research uh, this uh, review. Uh, considering available literature on landslide hazards, and uh, considering the spatial distribution and temporal probability. Uh, that means that we consider environmental uh, factors, triggering factors, and landslide inventories. Uh, about the materials and methods that, that, we, uh, that we follow, um, from the, the methodology consists in three stages. The first was the the, the search for scientific articles. And we consider Scopus, World Science, Cielo, Rediv, and Redalic um, as our databases. And the period of time that we analyze this uh, uh, from, from uh, 2000 and 2019. Um, we consider all the, all the countries that that are into Latin American region. And this is uh, Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, uh, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Cuba, Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, PT, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, Paraguay, Peru, the Dominican Republic, Uruguay, and Venezuela. And the search was made uh, in English, in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. And the, uh, the search was made uh, considering 20, 27 keywords uh, that are here in, in this figure. Um, I refer the, all, the, all the ways to, to express landslide or to, and types. And it's it types. And the second, the second stage was the depression of the article database. And, and the, the third was the data system utilization and analysis. The analysis was made considering four categories. Uh, and those categories uh, were uh, general information, study area, research objectives, and methodology. And, and we consider also, we also consider these variables. And what we have as a result that is, uh, uh, we analyze to finally we are we analyze 283 um, articles. Uh, most predominant articles uh, come from Scopus and Web, Web of Science. Uh, that means that uh, they were uh, written as in English. And the about the keywords, the keywords, uh, the the main keywords that match in, in this analysis was a landslide, and that means that the most common way to refer any landslide type uh, is landslide in, in the region. And almost the. 70% of particles, 200, the match with one keyword. Um, okay, about the number of published uh, publish articles, um, the almost the 55%, uh, 55%, 54%, uh, it's concentrated in, 
in the last six years, and the and the average from uh, 2000 and 2013 was uh, seven on average. Uh, let out uh, about the uh, others affiliation. The the main affiliation was uh, UNAM from, from Mexico, uh, Yangla uh, from Argentina, Universidad de Chile from Chile, uh, CONICET, uh, Universidad de Buenos Aires in Argentina, and Universidad Nacional de Colombia. Uh, about the spatial distribution of the we, uh, published research, well, we have that uh, almost the 80% of the tourists was was made, but is concentrated in, in six uh, countries. Those are Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, Costa Rica, and Chile. And the major production uh, is concentrated in Mexico, following uh, by uh, Brazil, uh, Argentina, uh, Colom and Colombia. Um, and Latin America has have uh, 20 countries and only um, 15 countries publish about this topic. What we have about the approaches following in, in this research, uh, the main subjects covered in, in the publication were susceptibility, following by characterization, inventory, hazardousness or hazardness, triggering factors and conditioning factors. The, the types of landslide uh, studied uh, was mainly referred by as landslides, um, uh, following by, by slides, flus, and avalanches. The other, the other uh, researchers uh, refer that um, those uh, those processes as uh, a mix of, 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 of those. Uh, they analyze uh, articles focus on seven specific topics, uh, but the, the, almost the 80% the uh, were modeling and geological and geomorphological analysis. Um, the remaining uh, were inventories, uh, Geolo uh, hydrometeorological analysis, seismic analysis, modeling comparison, and land cover analysis. About the methodologies uh, used in, in this in this research, searches uh, were um, the most frequent and uh, were characterizations, um, followed by statical approaches, deterministic approaches, inventory approaches, and heuristic approaches. Um, the spatial analysis tools uh, that were most used uh, were GIS, uh, for example, are GIS, EWIS, which is SAGIS and IDRISI. Um, we, so we use, so they use also topo topographic profiles to represent the, the study areas and GPS, UAB. And all, almost the 80% of the publication use five word to to um, inventory and to to prove uh, their results. And the researchers uh, also dating uh, their processes using. Um, Radioactive, uh, radiogenic carbon, uranium, chlorine, and interferometry, the endocrinology, and uh, the main, uh, the mainly uh, technique to 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 prove and to see, to prove the results were curva rock. Um, the analyzed research. Uh, um, Use a thematic maps, satellite images, and precipitation databases as the the main uh, inputs. Uh, the characterization studies um, uh, use uh, limited has made a, a limited use of uh, hydrostatic 
Java, Terra Hydro, and other, and other uh, techniques and, and programs, statical approaches use uh, MATLAB and concentrate their analysis in analytical hierarchy processes. The deterministic approach was made by Schultz. Shall start seeing map and see a slide heuristic approach uh, use an heuristic approach use uh, Mora Parson and von Besten techniques. As a conclusion, uh, we we saw a growing interest in uh, in that uh, in that topic uh, in, in universities and, and a growing interest of research in this in this topic and. We found uh, that the last six years were the more productive, and the, the investigations uh, was were published by fifteen uh, countries, and it's important to uh, report our results as and not only as technical reports or great literature. Um, it's it's, uh, it would be better to publish this as in on international at international journals uh, in order to uh, the information could be available for us. Um, there are a reduced number of research uh, in specific topics as hazardness, inventory and integrity and conditioning factors. And for this reason, we made a uh, first characterization. It is, it is important to strengthen our uh, groups of uh, research, research groups, and uh, there is an opportunity to use um, data techniques as the endocrinology, campaign data, and this investigation represents the the first the first um, review of Latin America, and that could be uh, uh, a good information to to study of hazards from landslide in intertropical zones.